So this looks pretty promising. Uh, very, very simple carburetor. Uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, throttle adjustment on the end. It's nothing more than a slotted collar or sleeve uh, fitting over a barrel. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, air intake right here. And by rotating this sleeve, I can uh, open or close that hole, shut off part of it with the slot in the sleeve. This is the main needle valve. It goes down through a, this this the tube that it fastens into goes all the way through the carburetor to the uh, uh, the, to the fuel line below. Um, there is a, um, a needle on the end of this uh, which is soldered into this brass uh, cap. You can see here perhaps there's the needle. Uh, that goes in and uh, um, <clears throat> adjusts the, uh, the, the main fuel air mixture uh, in the carburetor. The, um, what you can't see from this, this this tube goes through and is an interference fit into the uh, Venturi on the carburetor. So there's a hole uh, on, on this side of the tube that extends into the Venturi and the air going across it this way pulls fuel into the, into the uh, Venturi and then into the engine. Opposite and slightly below that hole that goes into the Venturi is another very small hole, a, uh, I think it's a, a, a 45 thousandths hole that comes in the back and goes all the way through into the the fuel chamber right next to the needle valve right after the uh, uh, right, af right uh, after the uh, fuel um, shutoff part of the needle valve. So this allows air in from this side to mix with the fuel before it actually uh, uh, goes out the venturi or goes out goes out the other hole and into the venturi by turning this whole needle uh, fuel jet assembly with a pair of pliers just got a ring on the bottom that I can take pliers and turn it turn the whole thing around like this I can adjust uh, the amount of air that's admitted through that hole in the back into the premix chamber which ostensibly helps to uh, vaporize the fuel. So, so far I'm very pleased with the results. Um, it's a very simple carburetor to make. It basically has three, uh, well maybe maybe four parts. It has the body, it has the uh, sleeve, and it has the uh, the high-speed jet assembly and then the, the needle valve. Four parts. Pretty easy to make. Uh, no real difficulty in trying to line up uh, two different holes to make sure they're uh, on the same axis and even so um, I need to I need to kind of polish up these adjustments a little bit so they're easier to adjust without resorting to pliers and so forth but I think there's uh, a lot of promise for it thanks for watching